All right, so I'm making a quick video. Hello, Molly. Um, I noticed something when I was doing some of my uh, studies with the uh, EEG. Um, you right? Um, that when I was petting Molly or touching her, uh, I was getting pronounced signals on. Uh, you can see that one right there, obviously. But even more subtle ones. If I'm touching right here. I mean, she's moving a little bit right now, but if I stop touching, you should see it calm down. Start touching again, you should see a whole lot. And I had a discussion with um, some of Haley's uh, future PhD mates um, about what this could be. Obviously, as a dog owner, I want to jump to the conclusion that uh, this is her reacting to me, that we have some sort of a, you know, human-dog bond, and she enjoys me touching her. Most people would like to think that. Um, but I don't want to jump to any conclusions. So, I wanted to think of everything it basically couldn't be and try and rule that out. So, I thought maybe this was some sort of con electrical conductance on my part. Um, I have a a big metal box for a uh, fan back here that I'm using to ground myself to and I can see that when I'm touching her I'm still getting that. Um, I've grounded myself to a couple other things uh, including the house outlet. Uh, I figured that that wouldn't be too safe to show on a YouTube video. I don't want anybody plugging, thing, pl plugging themselves into the wall. Um, then I thought it's possible that this could be um, static electricity, uh, her fur moving against one another. Uh, so I thought in order to counteract that, what I would do is, uh, I can't really see it too well, but I have an electrode um, stuck right to uh, her skin. It has direct body contact. It's the same electrodes I have underneath the headset. It's just an extra one. And that is going directly to the same ground in the background. So. Electricity, if I am creating um, electrical conductance, uh, it should take the path of least resistance. It, it should not want to go through all of Molly's body um, and then out to my electrodes. It should want to go to this nice, tasty ground. Um, so she's grounded. I'll ground myself. This is the electrode right here. That's just a bit better. Okay. Um, So she's grounded, I'm grounded, um, I'm going to start scratching back here, still getting the same signal. So we're both grounded right now, uh, we're technically grounded to the same source, so I have another ground that's going to an outlet back here that I'm going to ground myself to right now. So now we're grounded to two separate circuits or grounds and still getting um, a reaction. Now, her ground came off. Um, I just want to make 100% sure that I have a nice contact back here. In fact, I'll even hold it in place. There's um, rubber insulation on the outside of it. So right now, She's most definitely grounded. I'm going to scratch her over here, right next to it. Still getting the same signal. You stay, stay on. It's okay. She's she's not in any pain or discomfort or anything. She just wants to get up and play. So I'm going to grab a plastic non-conductant little toothpick thing. We're gonna do it one more time. I don't want this video to be a million minutes long because the last one was hard to upload. It's all right, Molly. Yeah, thanks, Molly. Just plastic. All right, you stay right there. Let's try this one more time. Do a little bit of scratching. Now, it's not as pronounced, but... Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Just one more minute. You'll, you'll be all right. A little scratching. Stop. Scratching. Stop. Hope you can see that on the camera. There's definitely still a response. So, I don't want to jump to any conclusions. 
I'm a cynic. I still think this is something other than a neurological response. It's it's recur it's occurring way too quickly. Um, and, and all the other things I've seen of her, like when I squeak a ball or call her name, or I mean, you can see if I direct her attention from one place to another. Molly. You can see subtle changes, like when she's looking right there, you can see those things. But it's not as instantaneous as I would think a reaction to touches. So I just wanted to make this quick little video of this stupid little finding and see if anybody else had any other opinions as to what this could be. Thanks.